Welcome back to an episode of We Are Again, uh, or still kind of on the grave. And we have a bit more of a look around and hope that the chicken doesn't die. Because there's uh, something that we need to do in order to continue with that chicken mission. And it's a bit annoying because we have to uh, talk to a ghost. But we can't talk to ghosts yet because we haven't learned that spell. In order to make that work, uh, we have to talk to my Siva. But she is in the city, and the city is off limits for now. Right, let's see, what can we do here? Is this a teleporting thing? Please be. Any blessing from a stone idol is a hollow one. The creature barely no Hmm, barely notices us, yes. Let's keep on moving. Yeah, tree keller fell from a great height, a loss keenly felt. Here lies Leaf Keller, hit by a falling object, a loss keenly felt. Hmm, tree and leaf Keller, really? <laughs> uh, that's a bit weird. So, let's see, uh, where do we place all of those items? Uh, let's place the empty bottle. Ah, bottle of wine, yes, why not? Dog chewed bone, that's an interesting one. But can we do anything with it? Who knows? Uh, doesn't weigh much, let's... Pick it up ourselves. And open this up. So, that one. Target's too far. Why? Oh, wait. Uh oh. That was uh, damaging. Let's see. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, that's something that I actually didn't intend to happen. Uh, friendly fire of your companions is definitely something that's a wee bit annoying. Uh, uh, a wee bit. A lot. A wee bit annoying. When the kingdom is decaying, what good is a king? As you reach to push open the heavy door, the coils and whirls of engraved wood dance into a new pattern. The semblance of a face arises. A face that seems to look right through you. A little sorcerer come to play. You are a sorcerer, are you not? Perhaps even God-woken. Oh, yes, Tell indeed. Truth. Now. Silence greets your answer. In the distance, you hear the screech of an eagle. Worryingly closer, you hear some kind of a moan. Time passes. At last, the lips on the door creak open, and the door speaks. Enter. The face melts hmm. back into the wood of the door, and the whirls swirl back into a floral pattern. A loud material. <laughs> okay, so this is how you open that door. That was quite easy. Uh, better than expected, actually. Okay. See. I've always wanted to explore a haunted house. Ooh. Tees for troll. Hmm. Essence of existence. Minor woods potion. Okay. Um, all of those stolen objects I have to uh, move to the beast because he's the best, the best talker when it comes to that. Uh, far. Where did I get the far over though? Anyway, existence, uh, essence of existence, volume two. The gods guide are uh, every twitch and twirl. The devoured tell us, yet they also tell us that the seven themselves are guided by the tapestry of time. All the existence is written in the most indelible of inks. Are we to believe that who we love, what we speak and where we journey is determined by an unknown hand and policed by unknown enforcers? Impossible. Within this universe, we inhabit where fruit falls from its tree to the ground and not into the skies, where the sun lies the days and the moon are nights. In that place, we are free to act of our own will, wherever the lawn of the wind and thunder allow it. Interesting. Can't be sold. Move this to the beast. And what about the Tifa Troll? By Harlan B. The term troll behavior refers to the way trolls live their lives, from killing and feeding to roaring and courtship rituals. Once you have begun to identify the trolls in your local meadows and caves, your next step is to find out how they behave. Luckily, this book is here to help. 
Old trolls make for formidable foes, not just due to their size, but due to their talents for health regeneration. A half dozen adventurers could spend many a minute slashing away at a troll, only to make nearly a permanent mark upon it. Some adventurers insist that burning or poisoning may prevent a troll from regenerating. Uh, imagine their surprise when a troll wields those same skills against them, with no apparent harm. This is because some trolls are weaker than others against certain elements. Virulent trolls will use poison freely, but are averse to the sun and keep to shadows. They are vulnerable to fire, which is just as well. Yeah, you'll need a torch when searching for them. Blazeborn trolls are eternally thirsty and thus tend to congregate near rivers and ponds. Use poison on them if you wish to halt their healing capabilities. Amphibious trolls can breathe both underwater and above water, but they prefer clean, fresh air. Given how quickly their tender lungs fill with fog and smoke, behavioral notes, their fog kills most living things instantly, but trolls may actually develop immunity with mild, prolonged exposure. If you encounter such a beast, they may be harmed only when a curse is applied to the appropriate attack mode. Trolls are typically omnivorous, but many are known to develop a taste for humanoid flesh. These creatures often lose their weakness entirely, though as constructs of flesh and blood, they are not indestructible. Interesting. So, what else do we have up here? Uh, we got ourselves even more doors. Look at that. And a staircase that goes up. Presume. The dusty staircase leads to another hatch, which is blocked tight. As you push, it budges slightly, and some sand drifts onto the floor from the other side. Hmm, let's uh, force it up a no little bit. No matter how much you strain and grunt, the hatch barely budges. For this task, you are simply not strong enough. Oh, okay. But I do know someone who is. The dusty staircase, no matter how much you strain and grunt. What the? This dude is 21 strength. <laughs> How on earth can he not be strong enough? Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna use the beast uh, to seal all of that stuff here. Makes it easier. Much, much easier. Oh, the paintings. Accept him. Accept him. Accept him. He speaks only when the silence is loudest. Accept. Accept him. Accept him. Eyes are upon you, even in shadow. Okay. Okay. How heavy is that thing? Oh! We can just pick up magical painting. Now that is actually quite interesting. Uh, steal and add to wares. There we go. Stealing and adding those things to wares is actually really, really nifty. The only iffy thing is that, um, yeah, it's a painting of a man, right? So, let's see. Let's get rid of this marker here, this marker there, and... Uh, Place another marker up there, and another marker up there or something. Yeah, that should do the trick. Ah, no, 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 there's something that I want to do. Uh, and another marker probably up there also. Okay. Now, let's open this thing. And you thought Rivalon was flat. Oh. Nothing happens. I... Uh, have to make this dude uh, go the other way. I go the other way, Point the other way. The servant responds with a blank look and a Yes. So let's see. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, sweet. Let's pick up all of that stuff. The servant emits a menacing growl. What happened? What on earth just happened? And my did the hmm Wasn't the servant part of a conversation just a moment ago? What happened?
Also, does the servant have some kind of infantry thing? No, he doesn't. That is weird. Okay, let's go into this thing. Open this up. Take that. Okay. Uh, maybe you have to be... Hmm. Sneaking about in order to get all of those things. Who knows? Something is definitely weird. Something, something happened, and I don't know, I don't know why. Let's get this glass there. So much talk of promises, yet so few promises kept. Hmm. A man's word is as fragile as his skin or scales. Swear no oath, make no pact, only then are you among the free. So much talk of promises, yet so few promises. Yeah. Okay, I have to save every now and then just in case. Uh, oh wait, this was just a normal painting. Great, happens as well. That's a book. Oop -de -doo -de -doo -de -doo -de -doo. And there is like tons of stuff up here, unbelievable. But at least it is uh, worth a little bit. Uh, the thing is, if I uh, were to like right click, steal, and add to wires, that would not be as quick as just picking that all up. Ah, it's just too many objects. Okay, wait. Sneaking failed. Why? Oh. oh. Hold it right there. You've been authorized to search all of your belongings. Now, let's have a look. Okay. Let's try to talk our way out of the situation with, of course, strength persuasion. Uh, what else we got? Wits, finesse, memory. And dwarf. Ah, uh, you're only being accused because you're a dwarf, yes. Needed five? Oh, bollocks. This is not good. Um, hmm. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Uh, we cannot use strength in order to get ourselves out of this situation. We could just, uh, try to bribe them, though, but I didn't notice, uh, them actually entering that door. Where's the beast? The beast's up there. Uh, someone... Ah, there's Farima again. So she's moving around and somehow she's entering that building. I don't know what happened. But that was weird. Let's just get all of the plates there. There we go. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Safe. <laughs> it's much easier uh, if you don't click on the names. Uh, much faster if you just click on the items. How did Faruma actually get in here, though? How did she manage to do that? Okay, let's save. Maybe I just wasn't really fast enough, who knows. And let's just get this bit of cutlery. Bollocks, sneaking fail. Why, 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 why? Because we are like intercepting that 
chair thingy. All right, all right, all right, all right. Makes sense. You gotta be kidding me. There are individual cards that you can pick up. Or at least there's one individual card. That's a game. No. No, 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 no. Come on. You pick up. Yeah. Ooh, okay, let's hope that I don't have anything on me. Nothing, uh, not finding anything I shouldn't be finding in here. Okay. Keep an eye out and let me know. Alright. Bollocks! Oh, come on! Oh, this is ridiculous, really. This is just absolutely ridiculous. Um, Allow the search. Yeah. Oh. That's not good. Um, that is not good. The, the thing is, she just enters the uh, the house at different times, and it's always a wee bit iffy. Uh, maybe I should. Maybe I just need to close the door. Maybe this is how you uh, make this work properly. Who knows? Um, all right, we are going to keep the last bit of cutlery in here. Alright, so, let's save. Uh, and then there were the playing cards. She's doing this. Maybe she can see this through the windows also. Maybe this is what happened, who knows. Or is there... Are there multiple guardians? No. Yeah, she definitely notices something. Okay. I want to pick up these cards. It's just a wee bit difficult to target those things for some reason. Come on. Okay, uh, what was it? O or something? Yes. Oh, there she is. Bollocks, 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 bollocks. Ah. Uh, Bollocks. Okay, allow the surge. No, this is not good. Um, allowing the surge is not the right option. I need to talk my way out of it before getting surged. At least on this particular character. Um, hmm. The other way would be to keep this dude out of harm's way altogether. Um, maybe teleport him out or whatnot. That could help. Alright. We got the cutlery. Uh... No. Let's just move a wee bit faster. I need to close the door. Come on. Closer, 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 closer. Bam! And now it is closed. Safe. So that she's unable to open that thing. That would be neat. Right! So, attempt to open these uh, playing cards, which for some reason triggered her immediately. Rubbish. And... Yeah, I cannot pick up the... Uh, Dagger cards that's at the bottom here, which is a wee bit weird. But alright. There's still a few more items that I can get. One of them is this thing right here. Ah, oh, come on. Do you really need to sneak for this all the time? What good is the conversation for if you cannot just... Take the attention of the enemy away a little bit. <clears throat> anyway. When did I... Save last. There we go. And look at that. Okay. Actually, all of the uh, stolen stuff, I should just move to the Lady Vengeance. And then it is... In safety, then I can't get into trouble anymore. That would be a really good idea indeed. So, really good idea indeed. Yeah, the bedroll of the Red Prince is started great. Absolutely great. Uh, what is for my servant? Wait, what? 
Your master Raikar. Uh, go off to the traveler that dug up the dragon bone boots. Kill him, take the boots off of him, and so on. Uh, right, get that one. Uh, I'll go to the main character and. Uh, uses but pretty sell it. Yes, that one can be sold, can be sold. The cutlery is nice. Uh, it takes an awful lot of space though. I mean, we could just try. Nah, we're going to sell this now directly. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we could try to fight with spoons. That would be interesting. Light gold teaspoon. Oh no, okay. So spoons are not there for fighting. Interesting. Okay. The glass can be sold. Playing cards we're gonna keep. Oh no, something is happening. What the? I am lucky for now. Absolutely lucky. <laughs> okay, now she's gone. Great. So, thank goodness I wasn't stealing anything. Uh, the feats of the four. Behold the mighty heroes of Driftwood, and the feats of which we owe them our thanks. Garrick, a human who slew the necromancers preying upon the dead of the stone god. Promly, a dwarf who defeated the demons that plagued the great woodlands. Vidya, a lizard who subdued the strange beasts and arose the primordial caverns east of Driftwood. Hela, an elf who defended the farmers who fed Driftwood against pitiless bandits. They are immortal through their deeds. Their implements of victory shall rest where they slew their enemies. Interesting. Heroes rest. Experience. Perfect. And... Uh, painting of a landscape. Yeah, this is also something that we can sell. Son against father. Death in the elf lands. A dramatic retelling of a true event. Lucian and the divine and his adopted son Damien stand square shouldered before each other. Alike not in visage but in determination. Damien, and what have you been to me this is? I'm your father. I, it was I who saved you. I who loved you. Love, you denied me everything. I am my true nature. The woman I love, you would have seen me clean cheek, clinging castrated, if it meant I had caused you no trouble. I am no Alexander, uh, my boy. Your words bite into me in vipers. Please say no more, Damien. You made me, uh, you made me silent all my years. I'll stay silent no more. All right, we got that one done. Uh, there are more of these books, Dwarven Customs and Traditions. The final page contains an illustration of a bird-like creature surrounded by dwarves. The vulture, Duna Undertaker. The Duna, the under, no, again, the Undertaker's followers, known as Death Heralds, would craft powerful armor. Ah, the Death Bird set. From feathers gathered during initiation ceremonies. The rites were strict on offering of mutton infused with sauce and earth was set upon a special altar, followed by a rehearsed and the map noting the location of the altar is drawn in the margin. The rest of the entry is missing. Yeah, we got that one done. And uh, that one goes to me again. Kirill's Greatest Hits. This is a book of songs and sonnets written by the great bard Kirill, the greatest composer known to both living and undead. One song in particular catches your eye. The springs mix with the rivers and the rivers with the sea. If the waters may duly merge, then why not you with me? That is a funny one. So... That thing, uh, I mean, I could sell it, but it's better. That's the that's the main issue with it. It's just plain better. What am I going to do with that one? Uh, that one can be sold. Right. Yeah, that's pretty much it. All of the foodstuffs we're going to keep, but don't really have any good use for all, though. Alright, good. Like, this room was just insanely complicated. Um, 
What do we have here? More cards that I cannot pick up and some scroll for some reason. That's weird. Cannot pick up the scroll. Huh. Ah, and there's landscape. There we go. Awesome. Right. Uh, what are we going to do with this dude? Nothing. servants ah uh, nice 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 let's take the squad to the other room I could try to steal stuff from them though yeah that would be a good idea so let's close the door so no one can see what we're doing and uh, this one could talk to them actually from the other side uh, let's see all of the room is pretty much visible what do we have up here same thing the servant grumbled let's talk from this way let's close this and she's coming through the door is she what's she doing Whoa, just walking through the... Okay. How good are doors if you are just... Walking through them? Hmm. Maybe they don't have a door opening mechanic. That could be it. The masked servant does not... Alright. So, both of them are now looking at the perfectest positions. And I... Can try to get them golden cups here. Chandeliers are not really necessary. Do not ascend. The web of despair awaits. Do not ascend. Ooh, this is Raika. Right click. Uh, let's get this thing and move it to the wares. Okay, this for some reason is not quite possible. Maybe I have to steal it from the other side. Ha! <laughs> uh, that's cheating. Right. Uh, can be sold, can be sold, can be sold. Sold, 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 sold. Okay, let's say Frykas visited Ledger. Hey, we got something. Keeping tabs on those walking in and out. There's a dreamer spotted outside the gates. No, uh, her head's in the clouds. Shady traveler, sticking around for something. Watch close. Some ragtag adventurer, make sure they don't cause trouble. Shady traveler, update. Dug up some dragon bone boots. Ran off with them. My servant is on it. Kill orders. I think the servant ended up in the lizard's power with a traveler. Useless thing. Sent the cleanup crew later. Hunger from beyond. Yeah, that was a hint that there is something that we can get. Uh, but we already got whatever that was. So, and there's our little hatch that gets us further down and whatnot. Right, and then there's another house. Right, 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 right. Okay, time to save. And that one goes towards me. That one gets red. Uh, 1235 to 1242 AD. The rise of Alexander. Here, the historian Hubert tells the story of the divine order after the death of Lucian. From the beginning of its internal divisions, through the rise of the Void Woken, to Alexander's appointment of Dallas as his advisor, and their rapid rise together to the head of the order. 
With Alexander as the god woken, the one chosen to succeed his father, Hubert suspects with our naming names that some within the order are less than confident in Alexander's chances. And again, something to sell. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. So, what's down there? Can we actually open this up? Oh, ho, ho, ho. It's an underground tunnel that uh, is connected to this part. To this thing. Okay, I'm going to check this out again in a moment. Ah! There's a scarlet necklace. Look at that. I didn't pick this up. So, how good is this thing? Stolen. Magic armor. Can be sold. Right. Okay, so we got this room done. Uh, ooh. Ah, uh, no, it's just there for looks. And then there's also the upper level and whatnot. What happens if I... Thethery required free? Ooh, okay. Uh, I do have a decent thief on me, though. I can do that. Uh, this one has to end the discussion. This one, on the other hand, has to get the into the discussion. Is... There we go. This guy here is going to sneak. The servant emits a menacing growl. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh, why is it not working? I don't get it. Hmm. Maybe the beast has to do that. Or maybe the item itself was in vision range and this is why uh, it kind of backfired. Like, yeah, it was just seen right there. But if I move that. Yeah, if I can't see. The servant emits a menacing growl. Okay, so if you move something, then, uh, it doesn't, they don't seem to like it. Okay, quite understandable, but still a wee bit, whoa, wee bit weird. A wee bit weird. All right, let's see, let's try the pickpocketing. There's nothing to pickpocket. Uh, what about this dude? Also, nothing to pickpocket. Great. That means that uh, we can go down and all around and whatnot. Oh, look at that. Shoo, 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 hoo, 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 hoo. Uh, it's probably not that much out about in the open. All right, let's uh, end all of these discussions. Attach them back to the team and get down there and see what happens. Where we end up at. Uh, let's just take this guy, pick up all the items. There we go. Much nicer. I hear something scurrying around. And it's just oh, it's just normal items. I could just oh wait, that's a rat. You, apple cheese. Hmm, hungry is he? Tell the rat you'll drop him some food if you get the chance. The rat's tail twists and untwists. His ears cock and uncock. Cheese food, fruit food. Okay, uh, we need to give it some cheese or whatever. Let's see if we do have that in our inventory though. Uh, cheese and fruit, cheese and fruit. Let's see. Cheese and fruit. I picked up some items in there. There's a salmon pie, but I'm actually looking for, I don't know, the other stuff. Hubert's encyclopedia on oil. Uh, although he admits to having very little interest in oil, Hubert's knowledge of the void book and born of the elements seems surprisingly intricate. Uh, can be sold as well. Cautionary pamphlet, set as scavenged, da 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 da. Magister, that I will go to. Hmm. And then there are thousands of bowls in there. Great. Ooh, a shield. Look at that. Lawmaster free. It must be a good one. Oh, oh. 
Oi, 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 oi. That shield is just insane. Okay, that one would uh, definitely change a lot. Oh, goodness. Okay, the reflection of 40% melee damage is fire. It's really funny. If he gets attacked. Um, but holy shnikes. That is a lot. I'm going to give this to that thing. Like It's 250 and 284. That dude probably never going to burn to death or whatnot. This one has very high health. Yeah, and then there's just me. Okay. I mean, blocking chance is nice, right? Having a slightly higher chance for that to happen. Pretty sweet. Uh, but is it better? I don't know. I do not know. That's the uh, main thing that kind of irritates me. Oh, there's a dog's collar. A nice one. Uh, that one can go to this guy. Actually, no, it could go to the hmm, to the prince because the prince is going to sell most of that anyway. Dot, not dot's collar, not dog's collar. The collar of a good dog. Yes. Who is a good dog? Who is a good dog? Good, good, good dog, good dog. All right. Let's keep that one around for a little bit, just in case. And for some reason now, we can move around with intense speed. Uh, wait a minute. What beast? No, this is not beast. There's... Ah! There's Peepa and Rory. Rory might be the rat, right? Right. Yes. So, where do we end up if we... Oh! There's Betty! Uh, we cannot talk to Betty. We have to talk the to Betty this way. You. Slowly. It looks down. Slowly. It looks back to you. Slowly. Hmm. Lucky in life. Unlucky in love. Oh, console her. Is she in love with someone that doesn't love her back? Uh... She lets loose a long sigh. She inhales. She sighs again. Oh, Rory, the rat. He's just over there. Don't blink, or he'll flip right past. Like a. like a rat. Please, Grace. I'm gruel. I'm too slow to give him smooches. And he's so smoochable. If only I could keep up. I could grow sweet things in his little ears. I could tell him I love him. I could share my beats. Hmm. I want to talk to the rat for her. Maybe you can butter him up a little bit. Uh, oh, how kind. But I don't like butter. You could try hmm. carrot juice or some kind of hmm. nectar. The rats like nectar. Maybe cheese juice. Is there such a thing as cheese juice? Ah, okay. I've never heard of that, but that is kind of what the rat wants, isn't it? Oh, that's too bad. Hmm. Because then you could cheese juice her up. She grins at her hmm. own joke. It hmm. takes a good minute for her mouth to reach a full smile. Uh, <laughs> so let's see maybe there's something in those barrels look at that we got some watermelon and we got some normal lemon and uh, yeah I think that's pretty much it don't know where to get the cheese though let's see maybe I can just uh Give the items to him and not have to like move it. No time need food. Okay, uh, tell him to slow down. The turtle has something to say to him. Yes. Hungry cheeseberry. Hmm. 
The rat vacuums up your scent. Its whiskers twitch. Cheese food, fruit food. Kind of. So, let's see. Uh, hunger from beyond? Not quite the hunger that I'm... <sighs> Opposites attract. There we go. That's the one. Uh, we didn't chat with Roy for long, but he sure seems hungry. Yes. Um... Can't talk hungry. Okay. That's tail twists and cheese food, fruit food. Okay. Cheese fruit, fruit fruit. Um... <sighs> okay, the watermelon from before. Where's the watermelon? Uh, there we go. Uh, let's move this one down here. See what happens. Whoa, feeding plus two. Can't talk hungry. Okay. Uh. It's. Can't talk hungry. Mm hmm. Can't talk hungry. Okay, we're uh, still looking for like cheese. Don't know where the cheese is. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Mm. Can't talk hungry. Hmm. The rat's tail twists. Cheese food. What is this? Laboratory stuff. Well, that's kind of a giveaway thing, but where do we get the cheese? I mean, you do need milk for this, right? But, um, don't I have, like, some cheesy whatever ingredients on me or so? Don't think so. Or maybe we have a berry pie or something? Yeah, let's move this down here. Let's see what happens. What the? Okay, can't talk. Hungry. How much more food does it need? It just vacuums it up. Okay, we're just throwing food at it. I don't think that it's the amount of food that's so special i think that we have to throw uh fruit at it uh and that we have to throw like cheese at it uh, that's just one issue i have no cheese on me yet so that's if um maybe there's something in the ah uh, it's fane's backpack the red prince has all of these items this part is also empty hmm there's no way for me to do that. Uh, what about the watermelon? Do I still have that? Yeah, I still have that one. So, I do need the watermelon. And I do need the cheese. Alright. So that means... I probably have to get back here. Uh, at the later point in time, just to make that work. Let's get up here. So, watermelon cheese. Uh, no, fruit. Uh, cheese. Rat. This is not how you write fruit, by the way. Uh, fruit. Cheese. Rat. Bam. Alright. It could be that I'm wrong again uh, in this regard, but uh, let's just move up here real quick. And, of course, there are more uh, of those fellows looking around uh, and not looking away for some reason. Oh, look at that. There's a cat and a dog. That's, uh... I could try to open this up, but uh, they will notice. So I have to distract them again. Feathery doesn't work. Uh, so I'm just going to use... Uh, this guy to talk to him from this the part right here. Then I'm going to talk to this guy from two sides actually. The servant grumbles. One from here and the other one from from there. Okay, let's save. Uh, 
Definitely one of the more difficult uh, situations. Nah, it's not going to work. Let's not overdo it. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. So, every time we have to save a little bit, playing cards. Ah, so the deck is ordered. Junk. Uh, it's not junk. Just can't really make any good use of it yet. Um, it's definitely good. Uh, stolen teleport scroll. That's something that we're going to keep. Supercharger. That's a funny one. Target totem or summon deals 100% more base damage. Well. Well, well, well. Uh, hmm. All of this stuff has to go different uh, area. I could actually... Yeah, yeah, I could put it in a bag and then put the bag and send it into the Lady Vengeance. That would be maybe the better idea. In order to sort things out. Can we talk to this dude again? You look up to the portrait. It's subject's face staring right back at you. One hmm. eyebrow raised as if lifted by a fish hook. Contentious cur. Thou wouldst dare France and gallivant about without his summons? Get thee gone. For at the count of a dozen less two, the sentries advance. Uh, okay, come. Dozen less two? Demand to know what he's talking about. Hmm. Hmm. You waste but your own time with thick headed queries, thou cow handed fribble. In the tenth second, the guards descend. Interesting. Ignore the painting's warning and examine it more closely. Hmm. Heed the warning and step away. Okay, it's safe. There's nothing happening here. The man in the painting. Thou hath neither three ticks. You come up empty. Perhaps there is nothing to find. This is what Rivalon has become. It Ooh. Has a sanctuary for greedy poltroons seeking riches from noble patrons of the visual arts. The painted man harumphs. And in the tenth second, okay. This was the tenth second. That means in uh, within ten seconds, uh, fight starts. So that was a very wordy warning. <laughs> Not really helpful for us, though. All right. So now back to the beast. And. Uh what the? Cornered. Wait, what the? What what just happened? That was weird. Another start the fight. That is weird. Why do they start the fight now? That's strange. That's really strange, actually. Okay, wait a minute. Uh, let's load this one here. I don't know what was going on there, but somehow once you talk to the painting, uh, like, you lose it all. It's kind of weird. Where are we? Right over there. Yes. Okay. Let's save. There's still nothing bad happening now. Let's just uh, pick up the oranges and the plate and whatever this pair is. Good, there's nothing in there. Plate can be sold. Alright. So now we can save. And now we can talk to the painting. Yada yada yada. Curl, what does it mean? Your own time with thick -headed queries that okay, so. Now we are out of it. And then there's something with the tenth. Uh-huh. Interesting. 
So once you talk to the painting, 10 seconds afterwards, the fight starts. And the painting just gives you... Not a warning, necessarily. It's more like an information uh, that within 10 seconds, it starts. It's not that there's a way to get around it, because there is not a way to get around it. It's simple as that. Okay, I need feathery in order to move this thing around. That means I need to uh, end this little dialogue and uh, let this guy talk here. Right. Uh, did we... I don't know if I picked up this one or not. Nah, I don't think so. But I picked up those things. Uh, and now I'm just going to talk to it the from this way. Not speak. There we go. Ah, much cleaner, much nicer. Good. Let's just save. This one doesn't work. Okay. Still in it to wears. There we go. Whatever that was. Uh... Just a normal landscape, could be anything. Painting of a night. The servant emits a menacing growl. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Uh, I just cannot interrupt with it. Sometimes you can talk to the painting, it's an effort thing, it's fine. And sometimes you pick them up. Uh, okay, you have to probably interact with it this way around. As long as you do not... Uh, interact with the wrong kind of painting, you're okay. Let's try this again. Right click, steal and add to wares. There we go. Even using it uh, is prohibited. So, steal and add to wares. There we go. Let's take this dude. Uh, this is just ghostly, pretty much. I'm not going to fiddle about with this painting yet. Uh, but I have to pick that lock now. There we go. Uh oh. That was not. Uh, where? Ah, okay. Right under the bathtub. Very interesting. So, something in here sees me. Uh, the dog uh, looks one way and the other animal looks the other. Alright. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Ah, this is Dot. the master loves you more than he loves me, then Dot, you're a bigger idiot than you look. Master's the master. Master knows the dog is better than the cat. Master says good dog. Does master say good cat? No, no, master does not. See? The cat gives the dog a long, languid look of carefully disguised contempt. Then she sighs and turns to you. Settle an argument for us. Okay, could help. Dog's body here thinks that because the master is grateful for his, meaning the dog's, mindless devotion, he loves his dog more than he loves his cat. I, on the other hand, know full well that it's the master's admiration for my general bearing, demeanor, and intrinsic greatness what is most indicative of a state of actual love. He near worships me, he does. Master loves his dog. Master thinks his cat is cool, not the same thing. You're a moron. No, I'm not. I'm black brown. Hmm. See what I'm dealing with? Come on, settle the argument. Tell him he's wrong. Well, tell them uh, you're sure that our master loves them both equally and leave it at that. <laughs> Let's go with number three. But actually, the dog is quite right with two different ways of uh, putting value on them. One of them being love and the other one being like uh, coolness and whatnot. Dog. Oh, cat. Dog. Can't win, can I? The animals argue on. Dog. Oh, Dog. Can't win. Hmm. 
great. So let's see what else we got. We got the diamond there. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I have to distract them uh, in other ways. So this one ends. This one ends as well. Let's move them both over there. This guy, of course, gets all of these things. And uh, I think I can't really close the door now, can I? Yeah, I think this is prohibited. That's just great. At least this one stands there and doesn't turn around, which is okay. And that means I'm going to... The cat and the dog appear to be arguing. Talk like that. And... Maybe talk to the... Oh no, they're both talking. Uh. Hmm... The animals argue on dog. Oh, dog. Can't we? Okay. Uh, hmm. That's definitely weird. The problem is, uh, I cannot place anything uh, right next to them that would hmm, work as a kind of a burial. So I have to be really, really, really careful uh, with what I'm doing right now. Because those two animals are just. So focused on another. That's not good. So, let's see. Uh, I can sneak. I can see things. Uh, let's open this up. There's nothing. Uh, let's open the chest up. There's a pillow in it. Hey, what about this painting? Doesn't work. Okay. Let's do that. And yeah, that was definitely something about the bathtub thingy. Uh, oh, look at that. There's a door. And there we go. Oh no. So, what do we have here? Uh, we have a hatch or something. Oh, okay. Interesting. So, yeah, let's just use this guy here. And pick the lock. Now we can go up and down all over the place. That is perfect. That must have been the creaky one. Painting of a man. Ah, look at that. Now we can talk to the thing. Always refuse what is so freely and openly offered. Always refuse what is so freely and openly offered. Hmm, kind of makes sense. Um... But what if I pick this thing up and place it in my wares now? Uh, so, where is he? Wait. There we go. Right click. Pick up in it wares. Oh, yeah. So, then there was something special right down there. Either on the ground. What is this thing? Uh... Yeah, chandelier thingy. Uh, the di yeah, the diamond can only be obtained through other means, really. Let's see. Okay, that could work. And we're gonna get the diamond. Yes. So let's save and move to the other side. Problem is, both of them. Um, have a very annoying vision code happening here. Yeah. Only thing I can try to do is like move something very large right next to it. So that the vision cone gets like cancelled a bit or whatnot. But it just does not want to do it. Okay. Let's move the chair a wee bit about. It would be easier to just pick up the plate with all of its contents. There we go. This thing just goes on and off. There's nothing there. There's... Oh! 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 Okay. Let's just save and uh, look at the pet basket. There's also a cat pillow. Okay. 
So that's the cat basket and the cat pillow. How much is the cat basket worth? Nothing. Uh, we can just place it back. Those two can be sold. Potato gonna keep. Right. Locked. Bollocks. Locked. He seems to be really annoyed by it. Uh, right click, pick lock. There we go. Ah, another hate spell. Good. Let's get out of this thing. What do we have here? Uh, painting of a landscape that could be sold. Shabby Ledger. The page lists no title or author. The handwriting is painstakingly neat. I'm a man of my word, unless so is he. I have prided myself on being my own man, but the specter of mortality proved my weakness. I allowed myself to be seduced into the covenant. I gave myself to him as his servant, as his warrior. In a rich existence, it is my one regret. I am sworn still. Soon, however, I shall be unsworn. The key that I will free me from these shackles is soon to seek entry, and I shall be the most hospitable host. Hmm. The Eternal Promise. Interesting. Tales of the Seven Gods. The Seven Gods were still young when they decided that each of them should have their own race. Okay, I got this one. And assassination contract. What is this? Neutralization. Subject got woken. The master agrees to your request, Wolf. Should your word be as abiding as your claim, then you have nothing to fear from the Black Rain. Your task is simple. Eliminate God Wogan, including Lucian's spawn. Should the weasel make a squeak, we won't dictate your methods, nor will we reveal our motives. Extermination is your only concern. The Black Ring does not tolerate failure. Payment will be offered immediately upon proof of fulfillment. Detailed ring, stolen pyrokinetic, and oh, that is actually a really good ring. And who would be better to wear it than? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, that makes things a little bit more difficult, but okay. Restoration, my ghost restoration ring. What am I gonna do with that? What am I gonna do with that? Hmm. Yeah, that's not working. I have to make those two move, or maybe, oh, oh, I could use the uh, blinding radiance or something, but this one does damage. I don't want to damage them, I just want to blind them, maybe. Oh, there's a chewing toy. Oh, it's actually worth a little bit, look at that. The glasses I want to use as well. But how could I make it so that these dogs can turn around and stop arguing with each other? That's the weird bit. Okay, let's just save and see what's in here. Nothing. What if we take that? Nothing. That's weird. The cat and the dog appear to be up. Oh. Uh. Oh. Oh. oh, okay. I just pick up everything I. I went from here, which is great. That was the wrong target. Uh, there's the broad skull. But then there's also this one little untargetable thing standing right there. Okay, that is a bit annoying, huh? It shouldn't be untargetable. <laughs> right. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. What about the chewing toys? Could try to get them as well. Yeah. Popularity contest. The cat and the dog still appear. Oh. Uh. Oh. Ah. Hmm. The animals. Dog. Uh. Dog. See what? Okay. What am I gonna do with this cottontail toy ball? Wait. Chew toy and chew toy. Interesting. 
The least frightening of all the bones you've picked up. It's fake. Uh, it's also fake. And the cotton tear terrible. Right. What happens if I just throw it down there? Nothing. If I throw this up here? Nothing. Hmm. Uh, that was actually not meant to happen. Uh, uh, this one goes to the bees. This one goes to the bees as well. So, uh, ba -ba -ba, popular encounters. We found Cottontail's toy ball. Perhaps it will convince her that her master prefers Dot. Uh, Riker's pets Cottontail and Dot are arguing over who their master loves best. We found Dot's dog collar. Perhaps it will convince him that his master prefers Cottontail. Hmm. The animals are dog. Uh, dog. Can't we? The animals are dog. Uh, dog. Can't we? Okay, what about this thing? Scratching the pole does wonders for your nails. Hmm. Is that pillow any good though? Like a normal pillow, but uh doesn't even have any value in it, like this thing. Actually, if it's a cat pillow or not, doesn't really matter. Now I just have it in my inventory and I'm never gonna let it go. <laughs> okay. Sadly, the popularity contest cannot be finished properly. Quite sad. So, let's open this door. There we go. Alrighty. Let's all get in here. See what we can get. And wept. Ooh. Oh, oh, that's not good. Need to be careful where we are standing. Awful lot of spider eggs. Okay. That's weird. What do we have here? Skeleton stuff. This kind of stuff. Empty flask we're gonna take. Poison flask. The water again. Nice yeah. again. Ooh, cursed poison flask. Awesome, 900. Ah, we're gonna get rich if we sell that. So, what about the vial rack? Some vials, labor stuff, empty bottle. Let's see. Well, it does have at least one gold value in it. Uh, the mortar is not necessary in all its forms. Hm, I have another one. Um, in darkest night, put on your mask and decant out one poison flask into that mug. Then we'll absorb a fresh and juicy round source orb. Then at completion of your task, in your hands, a cursed poison flask. <laughs> great. Absolutely great. Very expensive, by the way. Maybe with a decent amount of crafting, uh, I might be able to increase the amount of gold that I have tremendously by just buying and selling resources. Hmm. Oh, Essence of Existence. Volume 3. It is wrong to kill a man, or is it? What if that man has killed another? Is it wrong then? If yes, then what if he has killed two others, or three? How many shall die at his hand before we can put him to death with a clear conscience? It is wrong to steal. But is it wrong for a poor man to thrive bread from a rich man who stores loaves in abundance? How empty must the thief's belly be before we forgive him his crime? How full must the rich man's granary be? There can never be one law that answers the question of what is right and what is wrong. There is only a river of justice, steered by the impulse of men and women, gods and goddesses, chance and nature. Now that is some truth there right now. And there is another kind of cabin thingy. Uh, let's see. Really? Linen pans? But they are good linen pans, even. Pretty neat. Oh, there's a hand mark. I'm in web. Oh, come on. Wait a minute. 
There we go. These. Oh boy, I'm dead. The spider spindles right up to you. Her long, long legs tickling the sandy floor. A malevolent uh. intelligence gleams forth from eight beady eyes. She opens her fangs, drool venom that sizz. Oh oh. That was the wrong character that started the interaction with the spider. I need to do this the other way around. Hmm. All right. Um. And okay, yeah, we get this one done. So, and this fella here will up, 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 uh, lead the squad forward into combat. There we go. The spider spindles right up to you, her long, long legs tickling the sandy floor. A malevolent intelligence gleams forth from eight beady eyes. She opens her mouth, hissing at you. Guessing your mucky little boots in all the wrong places. Hmm? Don't you know, my little pepper pot, that it's ever such bad manners to enter a queen's boudoir without permission? Did that override could toss you upstairs, darling? Has hmm? he grown weary of milking my venom his very own self? Hmm. Tell her Riker sent you. No. Tell her you don't answer to Riker. Back away slowly. Nope. Say that you don't know any Riker. Who is he? in his own home and you know him not wouldn't i like to be a fly on the wall when he catches you in his web her laugh is blood curdling hmm. like offal being strained through a sewer grate <laughs> you have time for a little story then with nobody here but a stuck flies let me spin you a tale oh you let's sit by her spinners and listen attentively yes long Stolen. I was stolen from my own queen as an unhatched egg. Barely anything do I remember of these days. Hearing all from deep within an egg. Seeing only through the filmy veil of my silken sack. <sighs> but there is one thing I remember well. And that is the very first hunger pang. My tasty petal. That feeling oh, was so familiar echoes within me now i was quite enjoying our little chat but nature is nature sugar plum i hunger can i hear my princelings blubbering in their loving cocoons time for us to feast hmm we're not going to bargain let's uh, use the jester option and see where this one goes <laughs> Much better than the still old muck where I could push this through my boudoir door. Her fangs drool venom that sizzles on the sand. But there's no time to think about all that, because raising up on her hind legs, she pounces right at you. Hmm. All right. So much so to that. Let's see. Where are all of those other brutling thingies? Uh... Swollen eggs. Ah! Where are those things? All around. Good. Need to be careful. Uh, are they actually like, immune to bleed? Poison, charm, bleeding. Yes. Uh, what's she immune to? Poison and then web. Thank you. Again, poison stuff. But we can make her bleed though. Uh, let's start with this. And finish with, of course, Shackles of Pain. 1000 health. What on earth is this? Wait a minute. Why does Shackle of Pain not work? That's kind of weird. But okay. Mm. Nah, they don't deal that much damage. So, let's see. I could move around. Hit it maybe once. Hit it maybe twice. Uh... Oh, wait, I don't have any more action points. That's great. Let's see. Favorable win for everybody. 
Spoof. And then they come out. Right, how much damage do we do? Tons. Uh, this is just in here. Okay, we should be all right. Right, then I'm going to throw a boulder like this. There we go. And who needs a healing? Actually, I need healing, but I don't work with healing. That's just great. Let's see. I mean, I could use fire against it, but I actually intend to not do that. There we go. And we can smash it to smithereens a little bit. Let's hope that I'm not gonna get smushed too much. Oh boy. Oh crap. Where's the. Pepper. Uh, I need to check something. There's the beast. Pepper is there. Oh, thank goodness, Pepper is still alive. Um, but where, where is she? It, whatever. Pepper's right there. Ah, oh, thank goodness, Pepper's okay. Okay, <laughs> good. Need to make sure that this one does not get himself killed. Um, right, bleeding still continues a little bit. Um, but mark a target so that it will receive all of the damage. Uh, oh, resisted by physical armor, that's why. It has no armor anymore. So now it has shackles of pain on it. Perfect. And uh, what I can do now is maybe do some oil uh, there we go now it's crippled can't move much perfect I could try to do the uh, poison AOE that would work pretty well no they are not hmm. I cannot poison them though but at least I made sure that the good ones uh, are healing now perfect so, yeah, I'm just going to heal it normally. Oh, wait. It's only crippled for like one more second. That's not good. I need to cripple it for longer. Was this the cripple one? Yeah, cripple the target for how long? Crippled for one turn. Uh, I mean, it still says it's crippled. I don't know if it has crippled in this turn or in the next turn. I do not know. Okay. Still crippled, though. Hmm. Oh, this was a charm offensive. Right. So, feigny, 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 feigny. What are we going to do? Uh, we have to move a little bit further to the right in order to deal tons of fire damage. There's a teensy weeny bit more. Or I'm just going to use normal attacks. Yeah. There we go. Pretty neat, pretty neat. Maybe a bit more fire? Yeah. Oh, this was actually a really nifty thing. <laughs> like, I attack my own self, and then the damage gets transformed to the spider. Oh, that is a, that's a really good idea, actually. It's, it's so good. Uh, wait a minute. I could go there and attack it. Nah, the bouncing shield comes back in a moment. Let's just let it do its thing. Oh, no. Uh-oh. It does attack the wrong character. That's just definitely not good. Uh, let's see. I need to do uh, a bit more oil damage or so. Yeah, a bit more is good. Uh, it's like far too much oil damage. But if I damage myself, uh, then I may damage it as well, right? Yeah, something like that should do it. There 
we go. Sadly, I'm entangled now. But I'm good. And the damage is tremendous. Perfect. Uh, I could also maybe raise... I need a corpse. I think this is a corpse. No, it's a spiderling. They seem to be pretty alive, or are they? No, they're not. Okay. So my turn is done. If I do this... Seems to be in range, though. Is this in range? Oh, look at that. There's a hand. Yeah, it looks in range. Let's see. Perfect. Not in the far east side. <laughs> Obviously. Uh. Oh, there's a spider leg. There's more. This is some radiant uh, blinding here. Bam. Alright, need to heal this guy, just in case. So, time for some nice AOE fire stuff. And we got it all. Uh oh. Uh oh, 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 oh. Ah, bollocks. Okay. I couldn't get the fortifying thing quick enough. Ah, bollocks. When did I save? When did I save? After or before? Like, this is, this is just so stupid. You have characters uh, following you, and then they just... Oh, you got to be kidding me. Now I have to, to fight again. Oh... Come on. Like, all the time, it just stands there, does nothing, right? And then, after the fight, it goes out, walks right in the fire, stays in the fire. This is ridiculously stupid. Like, every other character knows when there's poison, and poison is damaging, and goes around the poison, right? But these characters seem to be so unintelligent that they just step in it and die. I want to keep it alive for the quest, right? I know how the quest ends because I googled that, <laughs> but... Uh, bollocks. Alrighty, fight's over. People are still somewhat alive. Uh, and we died in the meantime, because this time uh, the fighting was a little bit weird. Uh, but okay, we got this thing here. Uh, it goes up and down. But what kind of opening is that? I don't know. Could be any kind of opening. Uh, that one right here points me to the cat and dog, which for some reason are bound in eternal conflict. Oh, boy. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, that's actually a really good one. Actually, that's... What kind of hair is this? Well, this is, yeah, it's hair. It's not silk. It's hair. That's weird. So, let's get more spiderling thingies here. There we go. And, of course, chest. Okay. Yeah, there, there's, there, there's hatches everywhere. The hatch is blocked tight by the high drifts of sand, no matter how much you... Okay, uh, let's see... The hatch is blocked, straining and grunting. Your strength... Oh. Now it works, you look at that. Ah. I thought it doesn't really want to work. All right. Um, let's see, we got one more spiderling left. And then there's, of course, this painting right there. Many servants, one master. I serve only one. Right, let's pick this up and put it in the stash. So, I think I actually got, okay, pretty much everything except for this thing. Alrighty. Now everything has been opened pretty much. Awesome. Uh, but what what is this cloud actually that surrounds the thing? Does it mean that there's something special or I hope not. But okay. Let's see. We got ourselves some unidentified boots. Let's identify them. Both. 
Oh, laser ray. Now that one sounds like fun. Line of intense heat deals damage to characters and leaves fire clouds behind. Awesome. Okay, this one goes to Fane because that's what he does. Mm. That's a poison scroll, which we actually stolen, but let's just hope for the best. Uh, also, wait a minute, where's this other scroll that I had? Yeah, this haste scroll. Uh, where's haste? There's haste. Bam. And do I have any other scrolls? Not really, no. These leggings, they can be sold. And what about this thing? Ah, yeah, there's... What is this? Stuff? Wand? Stuff. Water. Hmm. Does tremendous damage, though. Nice. Chance to free surfaces. Sweetie, sweetie, sweetie. That one goes to Fane. And tough metal boots. Sneaking. Hey, and initiative. So who would benefit the most from this? This Devara stuff is not active. Um, I need all of the things to get a good set effect. But it's... Somewhat similar to this one. Uh, as a Fane half the oh, 100 and how much damage? That's insane. That is absolutely insane. 170 damage. Oh boy. Okay, let's just move a few things around here. Like this one, for example. Uh, we're not going to chicken anything here. Good. That should do it. So, now, back to this thing. Uh, it uses strength, sure. It's definitely better than the one that I'm using right now. With all of the fire going on, it's definitely good to have this guy have his own fire resistance, but come on. This armor set is not going to be broken anytime soon. And, by the way, how good is this armor? Yeah, armor to level 8, uh, but it does not get higher than level 8. This is the first armor that you get it's somewhat useful but at one point it will be over leveled by other items here like this one for example which switches to level 20 or it takes a while to get that okay what do we got here two-handed yeah health yeah physical armor yes dodging as well and oh come on and more health on top of that okay so we lose two-handed uh but we get this thing here. This is actually better. Okay, what about this guy's belt? Uh, constitution and bartering. <laughs> no. We're not going to switch uh, with bartering. Even if it would make him more tangy or whatnot. Let's give him the belt. Let's hope for the best. So, like we lost 10% damage increase. Yeah. It's not that much, though. It's definitely not that much, but having more dodge is quite useful. And everyone else just has an innate high dodge value because of the leadership stuff. Great. So, yeah, who would benefit from this thing? Yeah, I can just give him the uh, boots. Like, all of these require strength, right? If I get rid of Alexander's cloak, this guy would not have any good gear on hand. To make use of. It's definitely not good. Because I'm basically limited by some gear that gives me plus two strength. If I give him, let's say, the uh, these boots and uh, this helmet here. And then there's more and more and more strength requirement. And then at one point, I get a better help. Ah, I get a better helmet. I get this stuff here just better. It just won't do. Okay, uh, this one goes to the beast. This one goes to the beast as well. Shadow Essence. Also to the beast because crafting. Same. Don't know about the repair hammer though. Good. Yeah, and the disembodied hand can be eaten at one point. Righty. So, and this is how you defeat the spider, uh, but then there's also Rikert at the bottom uh, side. This is definitely something that I uh, have to fiddle with it as well. But I think I'm going to talk to him in the next episode, because there's still a little bit more of exploration that I can do in here. 
And I'm, I'm going to make a cut in front of his office. Right there. Alright. Until next time then, like and subscribe as usual. And uh, ta-ta!